What's up guys welcome back to e-reviews we are still with the Xiaomi Redmi 1s and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to install a stable KitKat ROM on the Redmi 1s to make the process easier I have segregated the video into three steps the first step would be to install a custom recovery mode and the second step would be to backup all your user applications and the third step would be to install the KitKat ROM itself so without further delay let's get to it The first step in the process is to install a custom recovery mode. Why? Because the stock recovery mode does not give you much options to install a custom ROM. So there are two uh, custom recoveries for the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. The first one being CWM and that is nothing but clockwork mod and the second one being TWRP uh, meaning team win recovery project. Out of these two I suggest to stick to TWRP because their versions are updated constantly and is much more stable from the both. At the time of making this video the latest and stable version of TWRP is 2.8 and in order to download the update.zip file go to the first link that I provided in the description and download the update.zip file and place it in your phone. Once you're done with this let's move ahead. I have already downloaded the file and placed it on my phone and I've renamed it to recovery.zip just to avoid any sort of confusion. The installation process is very similar to the one which we used to root our phones and that is to go to updater and click the options button and select update package locate the file that would be recovery.zip and there you go all you gotta do is just click update here We got a glimpse of how the team, team win recovery project looks like. So in order to verify if the installation is a success, you have to boot into recovery mode. You can either power off your device, press and hold the volume up button and the power button simultaneously to boot into recovery mode. Or if you're already into MIUI, you can go to updater, select the options button and click on uh, reboot to recovery mode so this will directly take you to the recovery mode of TWRP so this is the team in recovery project custom recovery mode uh, right now we are not going to do anything with this let's move on to the second step and then come back to this process I'm going to reboot the system the second step in the process uh, would be to back up your applications and the data when migrating from one version to another, most people would be worried about uh, the user applications that are there in the current version and the data associated with them. Well, in this step, I'm going to show you guys how to back it up and, and restore it when you have moved to the latest, latest version. And in order to do this, I'm going to use Titanium Backup Pro. I've already given the dis uh, link to download this in the description. Go ahead and download it and install it. So this is how Titanium Backup Pro looks like and in order to backup all your user applications click on this tick button here. So this will give you a list of uh, options that you can choose from. I suggest uh, click on this backup all user application So what this will do is populate a list of applications that I have downloaded in this uh, and in this phone and leave out the bloatware. So click on select all and click the tick, green tick button here. So this would take a couple of minutes uh, depending on the number of applications oh. that you have. So you need not uh, worry about the data associated uh, uh, say supposing WhatsApp because I'm going to show you guys how to restore everything back when you're when we have successfully moved to KitKat. So we have successfully uh, backed up all the applications. As you can see, we have a notification here saying batch backup finished. So let's move to the moment of truth, moving to KitKat itself. Step three in the process is to download the KitKat ROM and flash it on your phone. At the time of making this video, V3 is the latest and stable version. 
uh, I provided the link in the description for y'all to download and do not worry I will keep updating the link as the latest versions keep rolling out. So go ahead and download it and place it in your phone. I've already done that. Let me go ahead and show you guys how the file looks like. So there you go. As you can see, it's MIUI underscore H2A underscore 5.1.10 underscore 4.4 indicating that it is the KitKat ROM. So once you have placed it on your phone, we can move forward. Alright, so we have uh, installed TWRP custom recovery mode, backed up all our applications and downloaded the KitKat ROM. So let's start with the flashing process. For this, I'm going to go ahead go to updater and boot into recovery mode. So the first thing I advise uh, y'all to do is to back up the current ROM. Yes, it is the Wi-Fi uh, MIUI ROM. So just in case anything goes wrong, we can always uh, revert back to the Wi-Fi uh, ROM without any issues. So backup. There you go. System is checked. Data is checked, and boot is also checked. Swipe to backup. Now we got to delete the data from the pre previous ROM, and in order to do that, click on wipe. We do not need to be worried because we have already backed up the applications and we have also backed up the ROM. So you can go ahead and do this without any fear. So swipe to factory reset and there you go. That's it. We have wiped the data and now to install the ROM itself. Go to install. So I have placed the MIUI 5.1.10 here. So just go ahead and click on it and swipe to confirm flash. Well, this is going to take a couple of minutes. I'm going to be back. All right. So here we are. The, the update has been completed. As you can see, successful. All you got to do now is reboot the system and get ready for some KitKat. So there we have it. The MIUI 6 is running on the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up quickly. There we go. English next. Uh, set up a Wi-Fi. I'm going to skip that step. Terms of service. Agree. Skip the me account. Confirm. Me message next. Data enabled. Uh, nope. Next. Location and user experience program switched off. So there you can see we are ready to rock so here we go guys the brand new MIUI 6 running on the Xiaomi Redmi 1S before you do anything with the phone you have to install Google Apps as you can see there is uh, no applications that's, re that's related to Google such as Play Store or uh, Hangouts or any, any of those so we got to install that first uh, in order for us to install our uh, usual applications and for that I'm going to boot into recovery mode again alright we have booted into recovery mode and uh, now we have to install G apps I've already given the link to download this file in the description so go ahead and download it and uh, place it in your SD card so there you go you can see G apps KK slash uh, I mean hyphen you have sorry about that you have the date on which it was released so this is the minimal edition uh, meaning it just has the play services and the google play store and nothing else if you want to use google hangouts or anything of that sort you have to download it separately from the play store so i'm going to go ahead and install this that's it i'm going to reboot the system all right so now that we have Google Play Store installed, we can go ahead and install our normal applications. Now that we have successfully set up the ROM and installed Play Store, let's go ahead and restore the applications that we backed up in the previous ROM. And in order to do that, I'm going to use Titanium Backup. So I've already placed the APK file 
in the SD card so let's go ahead and install that all right uh, yep so there you go titanium backup 6.1.0 okay well I must inform you guys that it's a pre-rooted ROM so you need not root it all you gotta do is set up the permissions as you can see that the root permissions have not been configured for titanium backup let's go ahead and grant permissions to that in order to do that go to security app permissions root access as you can see titanium backup does not have root access so go ahead and toggle it well, this is the most annoying part you have to wait 5 seconds for every question that pops up you need not worry about it I think there are about 5 questions 5 to 6 questions and each take 5 seconds so as you can see root access granted to titanium backup so there you can see it has been successfully installed and granted root permissions so go to backup and restore button dismiss as you can see uh, the setup applications that are already installed the first thing you need to do is set up the folder where the backup has been restored so in order to do that go to men menu over here and click on preferences once you've clicked on preferences go to backup settings backup folder location and use the detect button here I would say detect the whole device as you can see it found a location where the titanium backup is stored so go ahead and click on that and use this current folder so the application will restart and let it load up go to backup and restore again scroll down to the bottom as you can see these are all the applications that were backed up from the previous ROM uh, just for example I'm going to go ahead and restore WhatsApp all you gotta do is click on the click on the uh, application and select restore since uh, I want all my messages back and I don't want to go through the whole process of setting up WhatsApp again I'm gonna click on app plus data it's gonna take a couple of seconds as you can see here titanium backup pro has completed restoring app plus data for whatsapp and if i jump to the home screen you can see whatsapp installed here so that's about it if i jump into it i'll get all the messages that i yeah as you can see it's already set up i know i need not set up the whole thing again so you can go ahead and do that for the remaining applications that are present that you backed up and you would have MIUI or the MIUI V6 with all the applications that were there previously I would also like to inform you guys that the prevention of heating issue is the same as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and jot it down to 1.19 and 384 apply on board and apply as you can see there was no problems setting up the frequency well I'm gonna make a complete review on the MIUI V6 and how to optimize its performance so stay tuned for that video alright guys though so that brings us to the end of the video uh, we have successfully moved to KitKat and I've showed you how to backup and restore applications from the previous ROM go ahead and check it out if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on the Xiaomi Redmi 1S once again thank you for watching my video and as usual see you on the other side